so you're on Facebook right you're on Facebook you're scrolling through and you're looking at things you're trying to figure out how to hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon and today we're back to business after the Fiona hurricane we're going to be talking about the top 10 simple strategies that you can do to grow your audience fast and we're going to talk about strategies that I've been doing for a long time and we're just you know going back to basics so before that here's this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets right so the top 10 things you can do to grow your audience fast and that's talking about any kind of business online trying to sell a course you need an audience trying to build a product you need an audience trying to sell your network marketing business you need an audience any of those things you need an audience and that's one of the things that every online entrepreneur has to learn and these are going to be just the basic things that you need to be doing and I'm going to be explaining why and yeah that's kind of it so before we go into that though I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video at cis428.jsgagnon.com because I will be sharing my screen and I will be showing you stuff that you know you need to see in the video and also there's going to be a blog post so don't uh, keep that in mind if you're listening to the audio all right so let's get right to it I'm gonna share my screen right now speaking of which right so let's do that and so you're on Facebook right you're on Facebook you're scrolling through and you're looking at things you're trying to figure out how do these people build audiences how should I be building an audience and there's so many people saying so many different things and like for example MLSP is one of the leading platforms that teaches this kind of stuff um definitely stuff that I've learned from them if you're ever interested but as you can see you know I'm scrolling through the timeline I'm seeing all sorts of different things and you would see different things like that too in your timeline but how do you become one of the people that you know people actually look forward to seeing your stuff and um and you know looking at your things or commenting on your stuff and actually buying your stuff how do you become one of these people that is there all the time right so a while ago probably I don't know how many years ago uh I don't see if there's a year here 2019 I guess is when I updated the copyright thing I don't know if that's when I did this ebook but I did an ebook called the top 10 simple online strategies that actually attract customers and team members to you I did that uh you know just kind of going through stuff I've been learning and kind of putting it together in an ebook you can still get that obviously I don't know if I have the link right here let me see if I have the link uh no but let me add it let me add it to like say can I do that duplicate copy oh no paste duplicate oh look at that okay so this one here is going to be um so master of simple.com that's where you're going to be going and it's going to be right here it's going to be master of simple.com you're going to just go to this site let me just make it visible now where is it there it is master of simple so you go to master of simple.com and you just put your name and email and you can download this it'll be it's free there's no cost it gives you the list of the top 10 and it's going to be kind of what I'm going to cover here but I might be doing some you know updates as I go we're going to kind of go through that stuff uh, let me just uh, rename this here rename this is going to be master of simple just want to make sure I have it here in my all right so master of simple.com you can go there and get this ebook you're going to get the ebook it basically looks like this it's a, a book with a bunch of different things in it you can kind of go through and go through and go through and let's talk about these things right now I'm just going to give you the top the kind of the overview of them right so the things you want to be doing is you want to be having a good profile picture you don't want to have a well I'm not going to get into details until in a bit you want to make sure your posts are public 
uh, as you can see right here you you want to uh, you don't want to post about your company or product name you want to choose a single strategy you want to brand your name you want to be congruent the same everywhere you want to define a daily method of operation you want to engage on everything you want to connect daily and you want to learn the 80 20 rule now these are the things that I learned and I put in my ebook when I first created this ebook and there's a few things maybe that I might want to you know clarify or maybe update you on one of the things that isn't mentioned in here that really would be really important is for you to let's go back to here so the number one so here's here's number one I'm gonna kind of go through most of that stuff but it'll be a little different because I'm gonna say that number one thing that you have to do uh simple online strategy is is know your audience right so you gotta know your audience now what does that mean what does it mean to know your audience it can mean lots of different things right it can mean that you have to figure out what they want figure out what they like all those things and you know figure out who you want to target uh, and you know the thing about that <laughs> really which is kind of funny is that the easiest thing you can do is to decide right really just decide really just decide right you really just want to decide your audience you don't want to you, you can't figure it out I mean sure you could do all sorts of, and you know this is what the big companies big big companies they spend millions and millions and millions on advertising this is what they do they put out a new product and they test it by advertising it by doing trial taste you know if it's say if it's a, a new a drink or a new food or something they'll do taste tests right they'll get people's opinions on it they'll they'll and, and this is like tons and tons and tons of money right so they're doing that you could do that too if you got millions right but because we don't have millions we just need to decide and then we roll with it and then we see how it happens yes it is you know if we don't choose right yes we are kind of like wasting time or maybe even money on putting things together but that's really all you can do you got to decide who it is that you're gonna you know go after who is your product for who it is that they who is who is going to be your audience right who is it that it's going to be who is it that that you're going to be targeting right and that means you know all 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 of the stuff right it means like you know their uh their likes likes dislikes right uh their their income level income level income let's say income and education level right I mean uh their uh, also their um their knowledge level of your product or your offer I guess right so I mean when I say that they you need to decide who how much do they know about your stuff like say for example you're selling an online course about well just like like I don't know online marketing <laughs> you're selling a course about online marketing right so you have to decide <laughs> do these people know anything about online marketing do they know about social media platform do they know about how to create an ad or not do they know how to set up multiple accounts in different platforms do they know how to use different platforms or just one platform all these things you have to decide because when you're putting things together which is part of the steps part of the simple strategies steps is going to be important because it'll affect how you write things up how you create your content and all these things we'll get to that in a minute but this is really the first thing you got to know you got to know who your audience is and it's all about defining there's a, there's a complete courses on uh, you know your avatar your audience your target market all those things that all have to do with marketing but the just the basic you know we're, we're making this really really simple the simple truth is that it's about knowing your audience just decide who they are you just make the decision what makes more sense to you based on anything that anything that helps you to decide and move forward with it okay so that's that's number one okay so number two is you got to know your offer okay 
and again this is like just choose something right choose choose something to sell right so you might have a product you might have a course you're putting together you might have um, an affiliate marketing program offer you're putting together you might have a uh, a network marketing business you might have a network marketing product whatever it is just know what it is right know what it is no so uh, no um well actually you have to so you have to know and when I say you know your offer I'm not talking about you know knowing the ingredients that are in your product or knowing how much money uh, a week they can make or knowing um the color of it or knowing uh the title or you know those things I'm not talking about that I'm not talking about those details those are just I guess features not you know not the features not the features right not the features the benefits benefits to them right you got to know the benefits to them so when we talk about a weight loss product right what's the benefit to them obviously it's losing weight but why do they care about losing weight and that comes back to knowing your audience right so the you know like I said the simple strategies know your audience and know your offer I mean yes it's complicated maybe it takes a while to get those really really well defined but you just just know those things right those are the basics now those are the two most important things to even get started which I haven't I in the past I haven't really done that really that well I've been kind of all over the place I've been doing different things and you know if you saw my last episode it was all about a Fiona hurricane which hit us we got 10 days of no power and uh I'm still using my phone for internet I can't I don't have I normally have you know high speed at home but the the connection to these to the service is down so I'm using my phone to do all my uploads all my even my work like because I have a day job but the thing is that that kind of allowed me to think about rebooting my and I'm gonna follow these own these strategies myself to do it you know the way that I know works because I know that doing all sorts of things all different things and all that isn't the way that it works you got to focus on one thing and keep going and this is this is what I'm going to say is number three is stick to one strategy whoops strategy um one um one goal one offer one what's one um audience right stick to that so do this as long as long as it takes to get results so sales right dollar sales or um or uh, or decide it's not right okay so in other words you keep going and keep going and keep going with that one strategy that one goal that one offer that one audience right one thing as long it as it takes it could be months it could be years depending on how many how much time you have you're spending on it right how much uh how much time you actually have to put in like I mean if you if you don't have family and, and you don't and you don't even have a day job and you're like you have 24 hours a day that you can do this it might take you less time than somebody who's got a family a day job and doesn't have more than a couple hours a day to do anything right so obviously the number of the amount of time you have might be benefit but it also doesn't necessarily mean because if you're if you don't have a lot of time you're going to be much more focused and much more able to say okay I can only do this this is all I can do and and you know focus on it right and that's the thing you got to stick to that one strategy um okay so now if I go back to the original list here let's go back to the these are simple online strategies for you know online social media marketing kind of thing like set a good profile picture make your post public don't post company so if we talk about the good profile picture what I mean by that is uh let's go back here so let's say that this is whoops so whoops I gotta hold on <laughs> all right so let's just say set up your online profile properly 
okay so this will be we'll say a good profile picture profile picture picture of you right uh we'll also make sure that you have have good bio a good bio right cover photo and and public post let's put all that into one thing right this is all very simple stra stra straightforward stuff so when we talk about your profile picture it's got to be a profile picture of you typically a headshot is the best so that people will recognize you whenever they look anywhere right if they see you uh, uh if they see you comment on a post if they see you um uh reacting on their posts and their notifications if they see you send them a message to them um you want that picture to be a profile picture of you that's easily recognizable they see that everywhere right and not to mention if you're on multiple social media platforms if you're on Facebook on LinkedIn on Twitter on Instagram use the same picture everywhere that's uh that's also in here talking about congruence right be congruent but yeah and let's just say be congruent be congruent congruent across platforms right so be congruent ac across platforms so that you have the same profile picture the same bio the same you know maybe if you have a blog the same link to your blog uh, the same uh, cover photo the same job list if you have a background you know where you live those kinds of things make sure this is all the same everywhere so that if people go from one place to the other if they're on multiple platforms and they see you they recognize you oh I know this person from you know wherever right so that's make sure your profile is online now the other thing is public posts please 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 don't think of social media as a personal space I mean sure you can have a personal space on there you can have you know because that's kind of how Facebook started out it's all about being personal with your family pictures and things like that and that's great you can do that too and you can have more than one account if you want I would not recommend that over time you're gonna you're gonna get you're gonna get kind of like annoyed at having to do both if you really want to that's up to you right but for me my take on it and that's what lots of gurus have taught me is that your online presence is an online presence it's 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 not a private thing it's online why bother and then some people will tell me well I don't want my family to see all my posts about my business and about this and whatever and you know what you're right you, they shouldn't but nobody else should that is not actually we're going to talk about that in a minute but that is not what you should be posting you should not be I mean, anyways I'll get into that but that is okay because they're not going to see all stuff about your business because you're not going to be doing that you're not going to be posting it's that's not what you're supposed to be doing online that will not attract anybody if you keep posting about your product about your company about all those things nobody likes that whether you're friends or whether they're strangers nobody likes that so that does not work so you're not going to be doing that anyway so don't worry about that right um there's a um, let's see uh if we talk about the uh, let's say number five here let's go to number five right we'll talk about um I guess choose a single strategy don't there there's the other thing don't post a company or product name right so that's one of the things I mean let's just put that as don't post about company or products products you sell right don't post about that you know I mean okay you can kind of post a little bit about it but like you just we just talked about your friends and family they don't want to see posts about your your business all the time right so they're going to unfriend you they're not going to be happy you're going to be like I want two separate profiles but you don't need that because you should not be posting about your company or products you sell right I mean yeah sometimes it's like oh my god this is the best product ever I want to tell my friends they they're going to support me they love me they're going to buy it from me but just because they see how excited I'm about my product and everything else but it it doesn't matter it's not going to work sure maybe you'll get a few that'll really support you and then but you don't have to post that on social media actually if you post it on social media it's not going to be the right the, it's not going to be good so um 
there's a couple of reasons first it's not number one it's not good for growing audience existing audience will leave anyway leave too right your friends and family they're going to leave if you post about that and the other thing is the other thing that's important to realize about posting about your product or company even if you think it's the best thing ever and you're like you know what that's what Walmart does that's what you know Kmart does that's what Target does they post products they post you know that's what movies do that's what they do they advertise a specific thing right yes that is what they do but they also spend millions on it you're not that's not your goal your goal is not to be like them your goal is to be a personal brand we're going to talk about that in a second but why can't you post about your products if, if you did if you decided to right why can't you do that because what will happen is that here's the thing worst case is they will unfriend you right they're going to be like I don't like this they're going to disconnect from you they might even flag you and then your account gets blocked and that kind of stuff because people are saying they're not happy with your content so there's that's the worst kind of the worst case right the 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 other thing that can happen is if they don't do that if they still you know think okay well whatever I'll follow maybe I'll keep following them I'm not going to unfriend them what they're going to do is they're going to go google that product online to see if what you're saying is true right so it's just, they're just going to google the product or the company name they're going to look it up themselves and what's going to happen there is they're either going to have one of two one of two results right either number one they're going to see that the product is amazing the company's amazing they're going to be like oh my god that's so fantastic and they're going to find somebody else who has more results than you better better you know looks better whatever and maybe go buy it from them right or they're going to find the 50 gazillion posts that say how crappy what you have is how it's a scam and all these things because you know you know there's always a post about how something's a scam on face on Google right you search for anything it'll say it's a scam you can search for my name it'll say I'm a scammer right you find it everywhere it says that about everything and the reason why some do that is because they're trying to actually get you to get to connect to them or get their product instead of whatever you're selling or those kinds of things but the point is that no good ever comes of you posting about the product or company name never there's never a good and the only place where you would post about your product and services once you have a group that you've created that you have only people that have already bought your product from you you put them in that group and then maybe you talk about testimonies of your product and they post their their ahas about your product those kinds of things in that group right so that's that's the only place where you I would say you should post about your product so number six is let's talk about the simple things you can do to get better at creating content right because you do have to create content right we talk about um, choose a single strategy we talk about uh why reaching your friends is not important that's actually a bonus in this ebook uh defining your audience we talked about that too that's another bonus we've kind of talked about it already uh but there's things in, that are actually not in here uh content creation so create actually I'm going to put that in here so create this is this is a definitely one of the top one of the simple strategies create content I'm not going to say daily I'm going to say regularly right so choose your regular choose your regular so choose choose your reg your regular right and stick to it so that can be every day that can be twice a week it can be once a week it can be three times a week whatever you choose it to be just stick to it right and also um vary your content across whoops across the 10 content types right there's 10 well some say five some say eight some say ten there's there's I and you know maybe I should say five because it's going to be easier to just kind of so the five content types right so 
there's there's number one there's value oops value there's life there's uh, results there is um oh geez I can't even remember what what the names are I have to look that up I mean I have I have documents and free free training that I can give you that'll give you the list of all those different content types there's actually a I actually have a training that says the top 10 the 10 types of content right uh value life results um so I guess that would be family right life family value would be um uh so training um training education all right and then the other one is uh, entertainment entertain entertain entertainment right entertainment and then the other one would be um I guess the other one would be product related right so product related means something like say you have a juice that you sell you show a glass uh, with it not to try to hide the product or anything but just show that you're you're drinking it maybe and what it gives you right what does it give you maybe you sleep better maybe you you're excited about drinking you actually like the taste of it you know you know things like that right about your product so those kind of the things that you want so results is like you know sales new leads or whatever I guess uh, pounds pounds lost right whatever your particular offer g gives as results to them right if it's if you're trying to sell a course on how to get sales then you would be posting about sales you would be posting about how others are getting sales and that kind of stuff right if you're talking about weight loss then you would post how others lost weight or maybe how you lost weight how much you lost and how long it took you and that kind of stuff right all right so number seven we want to talk about using the tools use use the tools the right way I guess we could say so number one is look at the camera whoops camera when doing video okay look at the camera when you're doing video so when I, you can tell right now that I'm actually looking at the camera you know where the camera is on your phone on your laptop whatever you're using to record a video when you're posting look at the camera not your face on the video right or not on the other screen when you have another screen that's and the reason why you do that is oh let's get that oh man I didn't realize I was still there look at that see I have been looking at here instead of looking at there and I didn't realize that that master of simple was still there so I'm just going to take that off there because I've been it's been on top of stuff so now you can see it all right so look at the camera when you're talking the reason why you do that is because when somebody watches your video they're watching you your face especially if your face is in the video right well obviously if you if your face is not video it doesn't matter you don't have to look at the camera but if your face is in the video you need to be looking at the camera because and you saw I, I looked away right now right you can tell that I'm not looking at you when I'm I'm talking if I'm not looking at the camera you can tell that maybe I'm talking to somebody else maybe there's somebody right here next to me right you don't even know you don't know you don't know if there's somebody around or what I'm looking at or whatever so you don't really care but what you feel is that I'm not paying attention to you if I'm not looking at the camera so that's a very simple basic thing that helps with when people look at your videos they feel like you're actually connected to them right okay so the number the second one that's really important for um is use singular singular when talking so when you're talking so when I'm what I mean by that is it's videos on your posts anything that you're putting out there as content use the singular form to talk to one person like you, I don't know if you've noticed so far but I'm, I'm always just saying you you I'm looking at you right now right it's not about I'm looking at my friends and hey and even at the very introduction that I started my video I always say hey my friend I don't say hey my friends I say hey my friend one friend right because I'm talking to one person your 
watching this video on your tablet on your phone on your on your computer on your laptop alone you're not you don't have like 10 people you know all huddled around your your uh, your phone right to watch this video you're just watching it on your own so I'm talking to you same thing if I post something uh, just text right in a Facebook post LinkedIn post or whatever I'm talking to one person that's reading that post you there's only one person reading that post not 20 of them reading at the same time so there's no sense in me using multiple you know uh words to describe right so that's the other thing so number eight number eight is engage on everything right engage on everything engage on everything that is that's all that's all it is right engage on everything comment on posts I mean obviously there's a limit because the platform will will block you and things like that if you do too much but just you know uh, every day when we talk about a, a daily method of operation things you do every day do as you know figure out how much time you have every day and then in that amount of time take 50 percent of that time or so to do engagement which means commenting on people's posts reacting to them sending them private messages uh those kinds of things that you do on posts right engage on everything and especially if they comment on your post make sure you at least like or love their comment and even better if you reply to their comment by saying something there's lots of reasons why that's important one is they will notice you they will appreciate you for engaging on their stuff and commenting back on their comments because they feel they did you a favor by commenting on your stuff right the number and also uh, the platform is going to reward you for being active on the platform so that's really important stuff so number one number nine we're almost done here number nine we're talking about connect daily right so connect daily now connecting when we talk about connecting right we're talking about sending private messages we're talking about engaging that's kind of the engagement part of things too right sending private messages commenting on people's stuff reacting to their comments comment uh, replying to their comments those are all engaging connection activities right now when you want to send private messages there's other strategies that lots of leaders talk about and again I have trainings on that if you're interested to be more specific on it but basically it's kind of like how do you connect how do you send a private message to some random person that doesn't know you there's a whole strategy around that too right but that is important you got to be doing that daily and number 10 number 10 is uh learn the 80 20 rule so learn the 80 20 rule right so what is the 80 20 rule it just means that 80 percent of the time you're providing value they call it value because it's you're not asking for anything in return right so you're posting you know educational stuff you're posting uh, entertaining stuff you're posting things about your family and your life you're posting things about um, other people's um, maybe results you're posting about so all these things that you're posting are all value based and you can even do 90 percent of all your posts and only 10 percent is talking about what you have to sell or what what for them to connect with you or for them to uh, you know put their email in an opt-in form those kinds of things and that's kind of what it's all about right so that's the most important thing so hopefully you enjoyed and again if you want to get that ebook right at masterofsimple.com you can go get this ebook and of course this blog post is going to be um, additional information too let's kind of go through what we did here and we're going to see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Ooh. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.